Hey, I'm Emmy Edmondson, and this summer I worked with Timothy Spiva, and we grew some liver cancer cells, and so this is kind of just an overview on how we grew these cell lines. So some general cell growth tips. When you're taking pictures, it helps if you draw a circle on the flask the first time you take a picture, um, and that way each time you take a picture in the same area of the flask. And so it just helps with consistency over all of your pictures. And then also it helps if you take a picture using the same magnification each time and it just helps with consistency again and for being able to go back and compare the confluency of your cells. And then when you first remove a vial of cells from the freezer to thaw and plate, um, it really helps if you start first in a T25 flask. Um, it helps encourage cell growth because the cells are closer together, they can communicate more. Um, and just get up to a higher confluency a little bit quicker in the smaller flask. And then when it reaches about 80% confluency, you can then move it over to a T75 and begin doing whatever your project is. So one of the first lines we worked with this summer was the HEP-G2. It's a hepatocellular carcinoma, and it's a low grade, so it's a little bit less aggressive. And here are just kind of some reference pictures on what to expect when growing this cell. And so you can see in the low density that they grow in little small clumps and then in the high density it's some bigger clumps. And so this is kind of just some specifics we noticed when we grew the cell lines. First of all it uses a MEM media um, with 10% FBS and again it's a low grade hepatocellular carcinoma so stage 1 to 2. And its doubling time was between 48 and 60 hours and we kind of saw a variety of this. At the beginning it did grow a little bit slower and then once we got it going it, it increased its doubling time. Um, but it kind of just depends. And then with splitting these cells, um, try to keep them above or around 40% confluency. That's something that we noticed when we, grew, when we were growing them, but then also what some other people who had grown them kind of said. And again, like the picture, they do grow in little small clumps on top of each other. And so you'll see if they're really spread out, um, it is a lower confluency, but it's hard to judge the confluency because um, of the clumps. So you just kind of have to Based on how much empty space is between the clumps. So here's kind of some pictures that we took when we were growing the cells. And so you can see the 30 and 40 percent have quite a few clumps, but again, they're really spread out and there's a lot of space between them. And then in the 70, 80 percent, there are a lot of clumps also, but they're a lot closer together. Um, and so those are at a higher confluency. So the next cell on is SNU 423. And it is a high-grade hepatocellular carcinoma. And so this screenshot is from the ATCC website, the American Type Culture Collection. And it's a really good resource when you're growing new cells that you aren't really experienced in. It can give some details and specifics um, on kind of what to expect. And a lot of times they have a reference picture that you can compare yours to. Unfortunately, um, 423 does not. But again, like the HEPG2, that's where this that reference picture came from. And so it's just a good resource to use. And so some specifics we noticed when we were growing the cell on is it uses an RPMI-based media with 15% FBS. It is, again, a high-grade hepatocellular carcinoma, so stage 3 to 4. And its doubling time is about 48 hours, and so that also kind of depended. But we did notice that the 423 had a quicker doubling time than the Hep G2, which is as expected because it is a more aggressive, um, and so you'd expect it to grow at a quicker rate. And not, it doesn't quite grow in clumps as the HEPG2 does, but it does grow in areas of more dense cells. So you'll see this area of the flask is at a higher confluency as maybe a different area is lower. And so you kind of just have to have to guesstimate and, and pick a happy medium between the confluencies. Um, but again, they don't grow on top of each other. They do, they do grow spread out. And so here's kind of some pictures of the cells that we saw when we grew the 423. And so you can, it is kind of difficult to see some of the cells they they um, are difficult to see at this magnification. So this is the further out magnification, which is a 4X. Um, and I think it's easier to judge the overall confluency at this magnification. But again, at the higher magnification, you can see the cell better, but it is hard to get a bigger picture on the confluencies. But you can see the 30 and the 30 and 40%, they're very spread out and not, not dense. And then in the 70 to 85, they get, the cells get very dense. Um, and so, yeah, this is kind of just an overview on the HEP-G2 and the SNU-423 cell lines that we grew this summer.